before you click off this video i just pray and hope that whoever whoever is watching this that you can stick around you never know this message could be to you from god through just me sitting here talking a little bit more about my faith. hey guys welcome back to my channel um happy new year's this is like my first video for 2022 i know guys you must be wondering where have i been i feel like i've uh, i've like as of recently keep explaining myself as to why it's been away for those that are like tuning into my videos and wondering where sasha is at you know that has my best interest at heart um i'm here guys god has been good you know can't complain just been busy and not having enough time for this channel and still like contemplating the direction for this channel well that's not the reason i came here today the reason is like this video idea has been on my mind to do and for those that are like familiar with me familiar with this channel know that I, I am a Christian, I am a believer in Christ and I always like, as, especially as of recent, wondering what to do with my channel where I can include God in what I do, you know. Before you click off this video, I just pray and hope that whoever whoever is watching this, that you can stick around, you never know this message could be to you from God through just me sitting here talking a little bit more about my faith. Oh, I thought they were calling me. I was ready to like end this. But guys, first of all, if you see nothing on my teeth, don't mind that I was having. Mm, I know that I was having something and it might still be in my I'll probably try not to smile or laugh too much. So I got baptized when I was around. I believe 17 going to 18 because it was in my birth month when I was supposed to turn 18 so you can say from 18 if I don't lie and during them time there I did it because I went through something in my life which I'm grateful for to God that I'm still alive you know and it really made me think um, after God rescuing me from this situation, felt like God was um, calling me to come to him because not only that situation, I just feel like ever since I was young growing up, I've just, I've, I've not felt normal. If that's a way to describe it, something's been happen to me, happening to me internally. You know, but people never knew because nobody really know what go on inside of you until you probably share it to them. So I just always felt that like there was this internal battle with me going on and an actual external situation happened where I could have lost my life and that even though my eyes more and it's just like, okay, this must be clear indication that I need to give my life to God and like I need because going growing up in church you hear the minister them always I preach and I said to give your life to God before it's too late and those are only talking about it and it just felt like okay I should do it you know like why not no so I ended up made a decision and I did the other Sunday I believe at like the day I was really sitting down contemplating in the church and I just, I think the pastor did ask me if we do want to do it the same Sunday when we go talk to him or other Sunday. I think me tell him other Sunday or the same Sunday. I think I'll probably the same Sunday because I never actually carried any clothes to get baptized in. So they lent me some like white head wrap, um, a top, white top and the bottom. If you guys watch my testimony video, see the clip when I got baptized and yeah, like when, when I took the plunge as people that say I get the dip in the water and come out back. But not in a lie, like at first, like I never dipped my head in like a body of water before. So to be honest, it was nerve wracking, but thanks be to God I overcome it. I didn't drown. <laughs> and 
at those time I was still battling anxiety so when I came out there was this anxiousness wondering if I'm gonna be okay after coming out the water and thing but I overcame that and like when I went back home I felt this lightness like that like is physical lightness in my body is like something inside me. Something just feel different. Something changed within me internally, and I didn't know if that was something normal when they gave your life to God. That you're some you're supposed to feel something physically different. And I was asking around like one or two people, in my family, like when the when they gave your life to God, did you feel like this? My mom said, everybody experienced difference. I just assume, okay, probably this is just my experience. And the, the, the first meet of the matter, I don't know what I'm going to label this video as, probably why I became a Christian, but the fact that it's nothing that I have done, like even though I, I say I have reasons, the main reason why I became a Christian is by God's grace and mercy. That's the reason why, because anything could have happened, and thank God nothing bad didn't happen, whereas... I didn't get the opportunity to give my life to God. Like many people were to our out there that didn't get to know God. And I guess this is my way too of using my platform to to um let people know that haven't given their life to God, haven't known God or hear of the gospel to hear it through this video so they can take it to the Lord in prayer and actually be moved by this video to the point you're contemplating and do it before it's too late because like two relatives has passed like my uncle like i knew he wasn't a christian but i don't know what his last words was when he was you know when his last breath i don't know what his last word was with god mm -hmm. neither my grand uncle that recently passed I don't know his last word with God. I know while they were on earth, they weren't like, they didn't baptize, you know? But my uncle, you know, we talk about God here and there and mention God and so on. My uncle, I remember the last time I saw him when he was in the bed, when he's not well, and we prayed for him. I was singing some songs. You can see really was in tune, like he was actually listening. Like, I guess you and me are talking about God. He probably never all in for you, say. But on that time when he wasn't well, he didn't deny us from singing gospel around him. And when I was praying, when we were praying, he shut his eyes and actually, you know, was listening to the prayer, like his heart was really softening. So I really pray that he all right yeah kind of getting a little bit emotional but just to say i i want to do my part you now as a believer to get the word out there to get the message out there to people because i don't want to see my loved ones any more of my loved ones nor friends nor acquaintances or even people watching this right now i don't want um god forbid your last breath could be today tomorrow Whenever we don't know, nobody don't know when there's last time it's going to be. And I don't want it to be a situation. Although I'm not wishing bad on others, just talking reality. I don't want your last day and you didn't get to know God, you know, or God was using me as a vessel to talk to you, for you to give your life to him and you didn't get to know him. And you know the outcome is going to be if you don't profess jesus christ as your lord and savior and believe in the gospel and give your life to him so i guess this is my way of wanting to spread the gospel and see souls saved you know yeah but as i was saying um the overall fact is that it's not me that made me make the decision it's by god grace and mercy something i didn't earn but god looked down upon me and saw a purpose in me and loved me you know and giving me so many chances opportunities to get it right with him so i actually did and now he's growing me spiritually and teaching me and he's like i'm getting to understand what is grace what is mercy um what the gospel truly means you know to know that we're in a fallen world 
and to know that God came, Jesus Christ came in the flesh, God came in the flesh as Jesus Christ. You know, God sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins so that we may have life and have it more abundantly. He paid that price, you know, so we can be reconciled back to God, you know, because the link was broken, but God, you know, fixed the link, you know, to what he did on the cross. So it's like me wanting that reconnection back with God. You know, me acknowledging that we're in need of a savior. You know, acknowledging that I I am a sinner and I need I need a savior. You know, me acknowledging that there is a creator and I choose and by his grace to worship him and to serve him. You know, to know that I can't do things on my own. I need Jesus. You know, so yeah, that's what the Christian walk is meaning me, means to me, and I'm still learning. You know, but I wanted to share the scripture in Ephesians um, two verse eight to nine. Say that for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves; it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So it's by God's grace that we are saved through faith. And that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ, um, God sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, in the flesh to die on the cross for our sins so that we may have life and have it more abundantly and acknowledging that there is a creator you know acknowledging that there's god there's jesus christ acknowledging that we're in need of a savior you know acknowledging that there was at this rift so something more is broken, the connection between man and God was broken because of this fallen world and God sending his son to like men, like become that mediator for us to connect back with God. So you giving your life is also you connecting back with your creator, you know, and choosing to follow him, to believe in his word, in his promises. You know can lead you direct you get you on the right path and to also for eternal life like who doesn't want to live forever you know who doesn't want to inherit the kingdom of god i hope something can come out of this and i should um share that scripture as well the gospel and not just by what i'm saying what i'm like i've found that's a um couple should I say couple but a certain amount of scriptures that speaks on the gospel so I've narrowed it down to just two and the first one is Romans chapter 10 verse 10 to 11 so and it's the King James version so it's Romans chapter 10 verse 9 to 10 9 reads that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confi confession is made unto salvation and turning to that is Mark chapter 16 Verse 18, or I can read on for it, depends on the, as the Holy Spirit leads me. All right, so reads 16, verse 16, Mark chapter 16, verse 16 reads, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. 
shall they cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover 19 so then after the lord had spoken unto them he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of god and they went forth and preached everywhere the lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following amen i hope this can reach somebody and if you haven't given your life to god please i i beg of you and at the end of the day we all have our free free will god giving us free will to make the choice you know um but question yourself if we were to be if you were to go if you were to pass away god forbid now it's not bad on nobody but just just like a question if today was your last day where do you think you would go are you happy with your life you have lived so far and the thing is i feel like everybody is searching of something which is why so many people turn to drugs to alcohol to sex to gambling to all different manner of things just to have this like they feel something is missing and they use that to like fill the gap you know what i noticed you see when they give your life to god that was what was missing jesus christ not taking nothing for try more as we always say give jesus a try but i'm not to believe in a prayer get down by your knees and call out to god ask him for reveal himself to you him will him will give him a chance he's not taking nothing we just go by your knees now and talk to him talk to him just like come here talk to this camera for each other people beyond the camera talk to him and he will surely reveal himself you're seeking with an earnest heart, a sincere heart. But to ask yourself if something was to happen to you today, not to scare nobody, but where would you end up? And are you pleased with the life you have lived on this earth? Give your life to God before it's too late. And if you have already, but you have turned back, it's never too late. Because once there is life, there is a way, there is hope. Go back to him, get back to that place, that place of worship, that place of connecting with him, that place of prayer, that place of reading his word, wanting to know his word, wanting to please him, wanting to serve him. He has said in his word, he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Get back to that secret place with the Savior. Thank you all for watching this video. And my next video, not sure it's gonna be probably food related. Mm, probably put in a content right with scripture. <laughs> not sure. I guess that's how God leads me now because I give him full control over this channel at this point. Because I've really not been doing a good job. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, until next time. God's willing. Bye. Bye, guys.